In today's video, we're going to look at what multiples and factors are. If we start with multiples, these are basically the times tables of a number. So the first five multiples of 6 are 6, because that's 1 times 6, 12, because that's 2 times 6, 18, because that's 3 times 6, and so on. So the next ones would be 24 and 30. Because of this, all the multiples of a number will be divisible by that number without any remainder. For example, 18 divided by 6 is 3 with no remainder. So 18 must be a multiple of 6. Whereas if we looked at 19, 19 over 6 is 3 with a remainder of 1. So it's not a multiple of 6 because it gave a remainder. We can use this rule to check if really big numbers are multiples of a certain number. For example, if we wanted to check whether 378 and 412 were multiples of 6, all we need to do is divide them both by 6. 378 divided by 6 is 63. So because 63 is a whole number, 378 must be a multiple of 6. 412 divided by 6, though, is 68.6 recurring, which isn't a whole number. So 412 can't be a multiple of 6. Another way to think about the multiples of a number is to just keep on adding that same number. So to find the multiples of 14, we could just keep adding 14 to get 28, 42, 56, 70, and so on. And all of these numbers that we get would be the multiples of 14. Now, the best way to understand factors is to start with factor pairs. If we had the number 28, then its factor pairs would be the pairs of whole numbers that can be multiplied together to make 28. So 2 times 14, 4 times 7, and 1 times 28. And it's these six numbers that make up these factor pairs that would be the factors of 28. Because they're all whole numbers that can be multiplied by another whole number to make 28. Another way to think about the factors of a number are all the numbers that divide into it a whole number of times. For example, 4 is a factor of 28, because 28 divided by 4 is 7, which is a whole number. Whereas 5 isn't a factor, because 28 divided by 5 is 5.6. So 5 doesn't go into it a whole number of times. If you want to quickly find all the factors of a number, the best thing to do is write out all the factor pairs, starting with 1 times the number itself. So if we wanted to find all the factors of 48, we'd start with 1 times 48, then do 2 times whatever factor is needed to make 48, so 24, and so on, with 3 times 16, 4 times 12, 5 doesn't go into 48, so isn't a factor. Then we have 6 times 8, 7 also isn't a factor, and then we get to 8, which we've actually already covered in 6 times 8. So we can stop here. And we know that our factors, in ascending order, are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 8, 12, 16, 24, and 48. So to find all the factors of 50, we'd do 1 times 50, 2 times 25, 3 doesn't go into 50, 4 also doesn't work, 5 times 10, 6, 
7, 8, and 9 don't work. And then we're at 10, which we've already done. So the factors are just 1, 2, 5, 10, 25, and 50. So to quickly sum everything up, if we took a number like 12, its multiples would be the bigger numbers that it can multiply to, like 24, 36, 48, and so on. Whereas its factors are the numbers it can be divided into, like 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, and 12. Just make sure that you remember which one is which because it's really easy to get them the wrong way around in the exam. And also remember that the number itself counts as both a multiple and a factor. So 12 is in both of these lists. Anyway, that's everything for this video. So hope you enjoyed it and we'll see you next time.